A seven and eight year old come home from school, but within minutes they come shrieking out of the home, something's wrong with mommy. The little boy and girl find their mom dead on the bedroom floor, and tonight a stunning motive for murder emerges. The prime suspect, a married father of two, did he stab his young girlfriend, Cicely Bolden, to death when he learns she is HIV positive? Quote, you're killing me, so I kill you? We are taking your calls. I'm going straight out to Tana Iser with the Dallas Morning News. Tana, is it true that we're learning from reports that a possible motive for murder is that he finds out this is a married father of two. Mm -hmm. that his lover, his girlfriend, is HIV positive, so he comes over, has sex with her one last time, then stabs her to death? Yes, according to the police records, he told cops that uh, that they started talking about her having HIV and her telling him that it wasn't that bad, and so he became upset. He went into the kitchen. He told police he got a knife, and he came back, and he stabbed her, he thought, twice in the neck. To Brett Larson, you know, it's a mystery to me. We were talking to Tonya Iser with the Dallas Morning News, how somebody can be confused when he says, uh, I think I stabbed her twice in the neck. I mean, you don't know. You stab somebody to death and you don't know, and you leave her there dead, half naked on the bedroom floor for her children to come home and find a seven and eight year old child, a boy and a girl, brother and sister come in. You know how they're going to be traumatized the rest of their lives? Because this guy allegedly murders his girlfriend when he learns she's HIV positive, and she tells him, so what does he do? He has sex with her one more time. She's half naked. She's naked from the waist down when she's discovered by her own children dead. He has sex yeah. one last time. Then he stabs her to death. And he says, uh, I don't know. Maybe once, maybe twice. I don't know how many times I stabbed her. You know, I, I, I'm going to go out now to the Dallas, Texas district attorney. Craig Watkins is joining me. You know, there are a lot of cases where a homicide is pled down to, for instance, voluntary manslaughter, when, like a bar fight, or for instance, here's the typical one, man comes home, finds wife in bed with another man, and it's called a passion killing. But you know what, Craig, I, I, I don't think that's gonna work in this case because I think that he knew she was HIV, that he had sex with her, one last time, and then killed her. Well, what do we know, Craig Watkins? Everybody joining me is the Dallas County District Attorney handling this case. And, and again, thank you for being with us. Weigh in, sir. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, I just need to clarify something for you. Uh, in Texas, we have a, a murder statute and a capital murder statute. And mm. uh, at this point, um, uh, based upon the information that we've received, it may fall under, un, under the murder category. Now, capital murder is basically when you commit an offense in the process of committing a felony. Uh, and so, um, Such based as an on aggravated limited, assault? Well, based on the limited information that we have at this point, um, it looks like it may just be a murder. I mean, this case just happened a few days ago. Um, at this point, all we have is an affidavit of arrest warrant. We don't even have the case yet. Uh, Let so me ask you something. Do you have a heat of passion lesser included manslaughter offense in Texas? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And what um, is that called in Texas? Voluntary manslaughter? Yes. What, um, which is what I said at the very beginning? Yes. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, specifically when we talk about this case, um, we're looking at, you know, I believe murder or capital murder. And if there's a felony involved as it relates to the underlying offense, then yes, we can go for capital murder, and then the punishment range changes. Now, murder, for example, you will still face life in prison. Capital murder, um, um, you will face um, the ultimate punishment. Let me ask you one uh, last question, Mr. Watkins, before I move to another topic, including you. Uh, with me is the Dallas County District Attorney, Craig Watkins. With capital murder, where there has to be an underlying felony, does aggravated assault with a weapon, which is a felony, qualify as that underlying felony? Yes, no. Uh, well, it's not that cut and dry. I mean, it's not a yes, no answer. We have to basically look at the facts and circumstances. For example, if you are um, 
on the street robbing someone and use a weapon, obviously that's a capital murder case. Now, in this instance, um, it looks like the facts say that you know they were in an intimate relationship, and as a result of being told about the HIV status, he decided to take this person's life. 